Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my fall beauty routine, which incorporates some of my favorite clean beauty products. So before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you to Bare Minerals for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I like to live a clean lifestyle and Bare Minerals is all about good for you ingredients, no harsh chemicals. So more on that later, but thank you for including me in your clean beauty campaign, Bare Minerals. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first part of my beauty routine always is moisturizer. So I'm gonna start out with a super ultra hydrating moisturizer. It's starting to get colder and my skin definitely needs the hydration. Okay, once my skin is feeling a little bit more alive, I'm gonna go in with a radiant primer, which is infused with vitamin E to bring my skin back to life, give it a little bit of glow, but the vitamin E also helps to repair and restore my skin. Okay, so as you can tell, my skin already looks a little bit more alive and now we're gonna go in with a really light coverage skin tint not really to cover my skin at all but kind of just to even out my skin tone and I just like to apply this with my hands once that's all blended in with my fingers I'm gonna go in with a concealer and I'm using a really hydrating creamy concealer underneath my eyes because my eyes tend to get a little bit dry and then I'm also gonna put it around my chin where I have a few blemishes and then around my nose where I tend to get a little bit red and now I'm just blending that all out with my beauty blender. Okay, next up, I'm taking my Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder Foundation SPF 15, and this stuff only has five mineral ingredients in it, which makes me feel so much better about putting it on my skin, because if you guys didn't know, everything that you put on your skin also goes into your body, so you definitely shouldn't just think about what you're actually putting in your body, like food, you also have to think about what you're putting on your body. So the way I use this is I tap this into the lid, and then I use this brush right here, which is also by Bare Minerals. It's their beautiful finish brush, brush, which was actually made to fit into this cap. So then you just swirl the product in the cap tap off the excess and then bump it onto your skin. This can be either very light coverage, very full coverage. It's, it's, I don't know why I can't talk right now. It's definitely very buildable. I like to do kind of like a medium coverage, but I used to wear powder foundation religiously pretty much since the time I started wearing makeup. And then when the whole like glowy look started to become a big thing, I kind of lost touch with my powder foundation, but I've been using this for probably over a month and a half now, and I absolutely love it. I just love how it feels like a powder, so it feels very light on your skin, but it's still glowy somehow. It's still very luminous because it kind of like melts into your skin and then still kind of looks like you're wearing a liquid foundation, but it doesn't feel as heavy as a liquid foundation. But yeah, like I said, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to work with Bare Minerals because this product is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and all the things that I'm really trying to embody in my lifestyle. And Bare Minerals are actually the originators of Clean Beauty, so all of their products are filled with good-for-you ingredients that you can actually feel good about putting on your skin. Really love this product, not just because it's sponsored, but thank you Bare Minerals so much for sponsoring this video. Okay, moving on. Next, we are gonna add a little bit of bronzer because my face is looking like a little bit too one color. So I'm gonna warm up my face and give it more of that sun-kissed bronzy look. So I'm putting this on my cheeks and then I'm also gonna put it up here on my forehead and pretty much everywhere. This bronzer is pretty light in color so I can afford to kind of just like put it everywhere. <laughs> So now that I have some color brought back into my face, I'm gonna rose up my cheeks a little bit. So I'm using this cheek stain and I just paint this kind of on the apples of my cheeks and then bring it up a little bit. And then I use a flat kabuki brush and blend it out. Okay, so now that I have my rosy cheeks, I'm gonna go in with a highlighter and I'm just using a powder highlight on a brush and I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones and also just right here. This brush is kind of big and it's not very precise, but I kind of just put it in this general area and also a little bit on the nose. Okay, next I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. I just have a few bald patches right here and right here from when I was growing out my eyebrows. So it literally takes me two seconds. All I do is this 
and then the same thing on the other side. I already have pretty thick eyebrows, so I don't really like to do too much to them. That's all. And then for my eyes, I've either been doing a brown wing, like a brown liquid eyeliner wing, or I've been using a jumbo eyeshadow pencil. I think today I'm gonna go for the eyeshadow pencil. Pretty much just put this all over my lid and then I take my fingers and blend it out. Definitely lazy girl eyeshadow, but I've been really loving this bronzy plum color. It's good for green eyes. And I feel like it looks like I tried, but I really just drew all over my eyelid. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara. Just one light coat on the top and then a little bit on the bottom lashes. Lastly, for the lips, I'm gonna go back with that same cheek stain because it's also a lip stain, just to add a little bit of color to my lips. And then I'm gonna top that with a glossy lip balm. And that is pretty much it. This is the finished look. This is my fall makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any other video requests, leave them down below. And I think this will probably come out either before or in the middle of my Morocco videos. So if you haven't seen any Morocco videos yet, don't don't worry, they're coming. I just have a lot of editing to do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.